Today on the channel, we have an all-timer, as far as a member of the G.I. Joe team from G.I. Joe Classified Series, we got Bazooka. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another G.I. Joe Classified Series unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got an all-timer as we've got Bazooka. But for all your Bazooka needs and everything else under the sun, make sure you're hitting up DJC Collectibles. Use 8 off DJC to save 8% off your entire order. And of course, head over to Slick Alicious. Yes, type Slick Alicious into your Google machine, as it's called. Check out the Etsy store. That's where I got this Bazooka shirt. Been holding on to this one, waiting for this magical day. We get to unbox a little Bazooka action, and today is now. And that's where I'm going to do in this very video. And check out them for shirts like this, Dragonfly shirts, Cobra shirts, Dreadnoughts, you name it, it's all over there at the old Slick Alicious store. So if you're out for this, that's where to head. But let's take a look at Bazooka, and of course, we're going to do it like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's check out old Bazooka. And it does feel like this one got a little bit delayed, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm not. But the packaging design has kind of that old school, and not really that old school, but older than what we're seeing right now with some of the Joe packaging art. It's got that old terrible art. Ah, sorry to the artist out there, but I like what they're doing now, and I like the plastic packaging better than this era of the G.I. Joe Classified line. But of course, this isn't our first Bazooka figure. We'll take a look at that one a little bit later, as we did get the Tiger Force one uh, from Target earlier on. And we always talk about that on the channel. Think of why they did that. A lot of people said, why didn't we get this Bazooka first? Why did we get the tar Target one first? Well, it's very simple. If you put this one out here first, everybody buys this, everybody skips the Tiger Force. Not everybody, but you know what I mean. You put the Tiger Force out first, everybody's like, oh, I want Bazooka. It's that new shiny toy. It's not my Bazooka necessarily, but I need to get it, so I'll pick it up, and then they'll pick this one up, of course, down the line. So it's good marketing strategy by Hasbro, even if it frustrates collectors, because if this came first, a lot more people would have skipped on the Tiger Force one. It's kind of marketing. Marketing 101. There you go. G.I. Joe Classified logo down low. David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. I think he is related to Rick Boogs from wrestling. You guys double check that if you want to. Uh, but also Bazooka, an all-timer on the Joe team. One of the early favorites back in the day. I wouldn't want to say he's dumb or anything like that, but he was always kind of like an old puppy dog a little bit. Hanging out with Alpine all the time, and Alpine kind of... Uh, having a good relationship between those two. I remember, of course, him getting laid out by Nemesis Enforcer in the G.I. Joe movie back in the day. Alpine said keep splicing, and Bazooka got the uh, tar kicked out of him by Nemesis Enforcer. Oh, we'll never forget that. Check that out if you haven't seen that in a long time. But Bazooka, one of the all-time greats out there in the Joe brand. And Bazooka, one of those guys that carried over kind of the second part of G.I. Joe with Serpentor and stuff. We still saw him. Where some of the guys got pushed to the back, Bazooka always there at the front. Always there at the front lines, but looking good there. Of course, got the side packaging like we've seen in the past with the older classifieds. He is number 62. Oh, my gosh. And there's old Bazooka on the side looking good. Number 14 running strong. And on the back, looking good as well. Looking nice. I like what I see back here. What's it got here? It's got bazooka. We got four missiles. A lot of similarities, obviously. It is a repaint of the repaint, if that makes sense. But we do get this here. I am definitely here for it. And bazooka, I always felt if there was a G.I. Joe movie, maybe not now, but a few years back, a decade back, whatever you want to say. See you later. I always felt that Don the Predator Fry would have been an awesome bazooka in the movie. Man, Don Fry. A man's man, if there ever was one. Would have loved to seen him as bazooka. I think that would have worked really good. Spider-Man style, bam, see you later. Up high, see you later, goodbye. And then we get the old plastic cardboard prison. There you go, cardboard. I always do like that they give us the little road case there, though, for the for the G.I. Joes. I think that is pretty cool if you want to hang on to those. If you want to use them for storage, you want to use them for dioramas, there's a lot of stuff you could do with something like that. Put these over here, see you later, goodbye. Then we get this. Of course, the newer ones have artwork of the character in them. This one does not. See you later. Goodbye. Got a little parchment paper prison. Let's see what's going on in here with old Bazooka. 
pretty much what we expected, of course. Bam! See you later off the screen. And let's dive in. Let's dive into old Bazooka. Oh, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about right there. All right. Old Bazooka looking good here. We do get his backpack. And, of course, might as well grab the other Bazooka out right now. I'm going to stick him on a stand. I'm going to stick him here on the table. Uh, definitely a lot of similarities between these two, as you would imagine. Makes a lot of sense. But we do get these here. So there's the old Tiger Force Bazooka and all of his Tiger Force glory. Now we got the regular one right over here, but we do get the same backpack going on. Makes a lot of sense. Got the old pockets in there, everything else. You can store his weapon down here if you need to. And of course, the missiles he comes with can fit into the back here as well. So choose your own adventure how you want to do that. But it is all one color, very old school G.I. Joe-like, but definitely cool here. Then we get his missiles here, and we get some different missiles. I like what we're seeing here. We got a little bit more character to some of these missiles here. And I think if I was in the army, and I was Bazooka, and I had all these missiles carrying around, I'd probably paint these a little bit different. I'd probably do that just to entertain myself. I don't know, maybe I wouldn't. Uh, we got the yellow and black attack. This is the striper missile. Somebody fact check that if you want to, but everybody loves some striper at the end of the day. But looking good there in the missile attack. And then we get two plain Jane missiles. No decor, no paint. He just hasn't got around to it yet. Two missiles right there. And then the third one's got a little teeth on it. I uh, got a little teeth, or is that an eagle's head? Uh, that's a little teeth there. Kind of looks like something you'd see on the side of, dare I say it, the Dragonfly. Check out Hasbro Pulse right now. Try to get your pre-order in or for Mattel Creations. Get your Dragonfly, but definitely looks cool here. So he's got four missiles there. And if you got the missiles, you got to have the rocket launcher. Very similar. It looks to be identical, just painted a little bit different than the last one. Of course, we do remember this does come off on the back if you need to take that off for whatever reason. Uh, but we do got the handle around here. You got the handle up top, handle over here. It's all about the handles. Another handle at the top there. Got a little resting pad here. Of course, it's up on your shoulder. You need something to rest. You got that sculpted in. Nice different color there. And of course, these missiles, as we do know, fit right in there. You just slide them on in and they're off to the races right there. So you can put them in his backpack. You can put them in here. You can choose your own adventure with your missiles. So we do have that. We've seen that before. Now we get the helmet. Once again, exact same helmet from the Tiger Force one. But the cool thing is you get the green color. It's a different color given the paint repaint. And it's weird that this is the repaint of the original repaint. Kind of plays with your mind a little bit here. But definitely his helmet. Definitely like the looks of this one. Uh, when I was a kid, I didn't really use this helmet a whole lot. I kept him with his beautiful black hair flowing around. I was, I don't know, maybe that was just me. But now we're diving into the actual figure here. And once again, same figure, same belt, just uh, colored variances, color differences on this one. But for some reason, this guy feels bigger. I don't know if it's the red making him feel bigger, the red shirt compared to the white making him feel like a bigger figure. Obviously, it's the same figure here. All the way, everything is the same. Same sculpt throughout on this guy. Uh, definitely a different skin tone, though. We got almost a a peachy color on the Tiger Force and almost like a reddish kind of tint on this one. So I'm not against that all, all together. I'm not against that because it makes them feel different. And that's what I like to do. I like to make these feel as different as they possibly can. It's like a chase figure in wrestling. Put different hands on them. Put the weapons different. Do something different. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'll probably display one with a helmet, one without the helmet. Uh, that's probably the way I'm going to go about things with this one. But definitely very similar as it should be. It is a repaint, but looking really good here you got bazooka he's got a mustache man you could set your watch to this mustache right here looking good a heck of a push broom there like a young don fry like i said you got two big old caterpillar black uh, eyes up there or not necessarily black eyes but black eyebrows how about black hair right there got a nice part on the side this is something my grandpa would approve of my grandpa would approve of this hairdo this hairdo probably not approving of but this one he would definitely approve of all day long Looking good there. Of course, the iconic number 14 uh, football jersey going on for Bazooka. Looking good with the red and the blue collar going on. The stripes on the sleeves. Just looking beautiful there. Two green wristbands going on. Two trigger finger hands. And, of course, got his big belt there with the silver belt buckle. And then you got your green military pants down into your boots, of course. Then you get the articulation arms all the way around. Got those butterfly shoulders. We're here for that. Bicep cut. Double jointed. Pinless elbows. Extremely tight in the joint department. Hands back and forth. A little bit of side to side. Pretty much just back and forth. Head back and forth as well. But you do get articulation out of the neck as well. So that's always cool. Some double articulation there. Hula hoop at the top. You get the waist articulation. Big old bazooka splits, man, a gymnast on the football field, a gymnast on the battlefield as well. Thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees. Nope, nope, take that back. We got pins in the knees down here. 
Boot cut, of course, ankles back and forth, side to side. Bazooka, doing only like Bazooka could do. And of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. What do you know? He's fitting like a glove on that stand right there. Man, oh man, I'm here for that. Definitely looking good right here. Definitely cool. And like I said, I understand a lot of people complaining. They wanted this bazooka first. But if you break down the business aspect of it all, I think it makes a lot of sense, really. As much as we maybe don't like it, it makes sense for Hasbro. At the end of the day, they are a business. They're not a nonprofit. And they want every coin and every dollar out of your wallet, as we do know. Where is my Flint figure? Where is my Flint? He's right over here to the side. Got to bring old Flint out. Of course, the uh, Grand Poobah of the G.I. Joes right there is old Flint. But quite the team here. I like Bazooka. He's a not a deluxe figure, but he feels like a big brawler, a big bruiser. Kind of like a roadblock kind of character, a bigger dude. I am here for that. And like I said, now we just need Alpine to go along with this Bazooka. Get me the Alpine, and then let's get the next generation. Let's get Leatherneck and Wetsuit. Let's get those in the mix. Got to think we're going to get all these Joes and more. Man, it's a fun time to be a G.I. Joe collector between this and Super 7, some of the other properties. Rumors of more movies. We'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get that to happen. We'll see what happens at San Diego Comic-Con here in about a month. Hopefully, a ton more G.I. Joe announcements reveals some stuff for the future. I'm fingers crossed on that one. I would love to see that stuff in person. We'll see what happens there. But today, Bazooka, a must-have for a lot of OG fans. I can see some people, maybe you're all in on Tiger Force. Of course, Tiger Force is the best sub-team, so I can see that. But I got to think a lot of people are going to be clamoring for this Bazooka at the end of the day. But what say you? Are you looking for this Bazooka? Are you playing the long game, or are you good with your Tiger Force? I'd be interested to hear if somebody out there is only sticking with Tiger Force and that's it. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those people. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some and even more content for you on the Patreon, including early access to all the videos here on the channel. And of course, the best way to support the channel is via the Patreon. You can also support the channel at ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson and don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Mighty Bazooka and number 14... I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.